Let me tell you a story about a guy in Louisiana. It was New Year's Eve, 2007. He went out to meet friends at a local gay club, and he met someone. Someone who was interesting, attractive, intelligent. At the end of the night, the two went back to someone's place. Alone, he told the someone his truth. I'm HIV positive. He wasn't sure what would happen next, but the two decided to see each other. One night turned into three months, but eventually their relationship soured and it ended. He moved on with his life and his career, but little did he know that someone refused to do the same. He was working as the assistant clerk at the Louisiana Second Circuit Court of Appeal when officers showed up looking for him. Do you know this person? He responded, yes, and with that, the officers left. Weeks later, he found a search warrant left on the kitchen counter. The officers came to look for anything related to his HIV. It went quiet for a few months until the officers returned to the courthouse. Please place your hands behind your back. What for? Do you want me to say it? He remained silent as they stated the charge. Intentional exposure to the AIDS virus. From there, he was arrested and placed into state custody until it was time to see a judge. Case 271028, the state of Louisiana versus Suttle. One count of intentional exposure to AIDS virus. On September 9th, 2008, the accused arrives, present with his attorney at law, and pleads not guilty to the charge. In the end, he had to make a decision. Face up to 10 years in prison or take a plea. The accused withdraws his former plea of not guilty and pleads guilty to the charge of intentional exposure to the AIDS virus. The defendant has been sentenced to pay a fine of $300 and court costs. When pleading guilty, he was unaware that it would be mandatory that he be listed on the sex offender registry for 15 years. He was also unaware, although his initial plea carried no jail time, this clause did carry mandatory jail time. And almost a year later, the accused, present with new counsel, having previously pled guilty and been sentenced, now comes for resentencing. The court has set aside the previous sentence. The defendant is sentenced to pay a fine of $300 and court costs with credit for time served. The defendant is to be confined at hard labor for a period of six months and committed to the Louisiana Department of Corrections. He got out January of 2011. As of today, he's still on the sex offender registry. Since being released, he has become an advocate for people living with HIV. He helps others so that they don't go through what he went through. He fights for a day where we not only end the epidemic, but also end the stigmatizing treatment of those living with HIV. He is me. I am Robert Suttle, and this is my HIV true story.